Michael C. Tober Jamboree Sprint. Michael Sims getting into position. 1,200 meters, six furlongs. And they're off. Roaring thunder, just a bit slowly out. Noisy lady gets a good start with sweet victory. Acknowledge me races out wide of horses. Showgirl is now moving through, and Showgirl challenging for that lead. Mojito quickening up on the outside with Acknowledge Me, and these two now go on from Showgirl left back in third as they run toward the half mile. Noisy Lady and on Charter race next as they slip past the half mile. There goes Roaring Thunder now beginning to pick up and make ground. Sweet victory, just the trailer. The field arrive at the three. It is Mojito and Acknowledge Me, these two, brawling as they come toward the final 5-16th. And now Mojito opens up over Acknowledge Me. A break back to Showgirl trying to close up with Noisy Lady. On Charter races up next, Roaring Thunder toward the back with Sweet Victory. But up front into the lane, Mojito comes with that lead. Acknowledge Me putting up a fight down against the rail, but Mojito is in full stride and traveling powerfully. Acknowledge Me is left three lengths back against the fence. Showgirl trying to close up with On Charter, but it is Mojito, the one to nine favorite, winning as a favorite should. There has to be a mishap to stop Mojito. There is no mishap, and Mojito comes a roaring in for a six or seven length win over Showgirl. On Charter is next ahead of Acknowledge Me in fourth. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number seven, the BGLC Toba Jamboree Sprint, number seven, Mojito. Two-year-old gray colt by Savoy Stomp, 50 Shades of Ray, by Zanero, Fred Richard Azan and Alexander Haber. They're also the owners. Train Richard Azan, the winning rider, devastating Dane Dawkins, the groom, Reverton Nelson, and the Ding Dong Battle. In the Jockeys Championship continues. Dean Dawkins now in front of Anthony Thomas by two. Second, number four, Showgirl. Third, number five, Uncharted. Fourth, number six, Acknowledge Me. Final time for 1,200 meters. One fourteen flat. And that time of one fourteen flat, equaling the stakes record. So Mojito winning race seven on this Jamaica Day race there at Caymanas Park as a one to nine favorite auto. And I'm with the trainer, Richard Azan. Richard, congratulations first up. Thank you very Seems much. Seems like a nice boy. Assess the performance for me today. Well, he has improved because he ran two seconds and now he won quite easily. So he's going in the right direction. Uh, three runs in 27 days. Made his debut on October 16, which was uh, 27 days ago. Uh, across his three runs, the first one, the, the debut run, the second run, and today, what have you seen him do better at progressively? Okay, progressively, he won today. Yeah. In the last two times, he ran second. Uh, the times are pretty near what it was before, but I think he's improving, and we changed the equipment on him, and I think it worked today because he, break, he broke good, and that helped him, and he won easily. So now, we plan to go forward and see what we're going to do. One of the things when you look at a two-year-old is you look at the, 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 the physical form, the outline, and based on your experience, how much more do you expect him to fill out that frame, if at all? Well, he will, he will fill out again when he turns three years old. But by, you know, at this stage, I think he's doing good. He's, a, he's still a little um, immature, but I think I'll give him a little break now and then, you know, find a race for him maybe by the end of the year. And I think he'll improve more between now and then. So based on the plan now, one more run before year's end? Yeah, probably the 26th of December. That, that, that's the yeah. big one. You have to take your chances. Yeah. Well, he's a nice looking lad and I hope that he gives you joy at home. Thank you very much. Richard Azan there, the winning trainer.